Hey guys, welcome to the Long Term Review. Today I'm going to try the Chicago's Home Run Inn Premium Pizzeria Pizza. This one is the cheese pizza, classic pizza. Um, it is 7.5 ounces. Um, it's frozen, of course, microwavable. We bought these at Meyer. It was $3.49, which is a little expensive for a little small microwave pizza, but it is what it is. So it's 650 calories for the whole thing. And there's your other information for you. Um, so you can do this. Go away. You can do this in a regular oven if you want to. Right there. There's your directions. We don't do ovens, but there the directions are if you want them. So we're going to do it in the microwave. So we're going to pull the tab up from the begin from the bottom, peel back along the, basically you're going to make a flip top box. Put the pizza on the top of the box, and let's see. Uh, place the box in the middle of the microwave with unwrapped pizza directly centered on a gray microwave sheet. Microwave for four. 15 to 445. I'm probably going to do the low side for pizzas. Usually it's on the lower end. Uh, 415 or until the cheese is melted in the center. Um, and all microwaves vary, so you have to watch it. I will probably start watching it uh, probably right around three, uh, three minute mark or so. And then it says let it set for um, 30 seconds to finish cooking. So I figure out where the end that they want you to grab is. Here it is. It says open here, right there. And if you've ever had any of these microwave pizzas, they're kind of all the same. They've got like a little uh, gray aluminum-like disc on the inside that you flip back. And you make like a little stand for it. And open the rest of the way. Come on. You can do it. The perforations don't always work. So there's your pizza. There's my little stand. Okay, uh, so I'm going to take the pizza out of the plastic, sit it on there, and get it in the microwave, and I'll be back when it comes out. Hey, so here it is out of the microwave, and uh, I've got me a knife here just so I can kind of rake it off the tray. Um, you can see the cheese is very melty, plain good and hot, very soft and melty. Um, I put this in here for three minutes, um, and it actually didn't even go the full three minutes. It actually, um, I pulled it out at like two, um, it was probably... 250 right around so it still had 10 seconds left even for the for the full three minutes and but it was starting to run everywhere the the crust is getting crispy the cheese is getting melty so i didn't want it to to get hard so i'm just going to use my knife and just kind of cut it you can see it's not uh these are always going to be better in the oven and i know that uh, for people that like to comment those are better in the oven. Yes, I know, pizzas are better in the oven, but you usually don't have ovens in, at work, right? And the whole point of this uh, channel is to talk about foods that you might have to take to work to eat for lunch. That's the whole point of the channel. So, um, so yes, this is gonna be uh, much, much better in an oven, but um, we don't do ovens on this channel. We just do the microwave. So, so there's the pieces, there's the bottom, there's what it looks like. I'm gonna cut this last one and uh, let it cool off for just a minute. I'll be back. All right, so I gave it a minute to cool off. Um, I'm going to take this piece. It's got plenty of cheese on it right here. Plain melty. Plain hot enough. Um, the crust has a pretty decent texture to it. It's not what I consider crunchy, but it's um, it's good and firm, so it's not watery or mushy. Um, the cheese is okay. I'm I'm iffy on the sauce. The crust is okay. Um, I tried some of the back of the crust just to get a really good flavor. Uh, see what the flavors like. It's a different flavor, but it's not bad. I don't even mind the flavor of the sauce. It's a sweeter, tomatier sauce. It's not really a, um, like a savory spiced sauce, like a seasoned sauce. Um, it's more sweet. The cheese is okay. I really don't get a lot of the cheese flavor. I mean, you taste it a little bit, but it's not like a main flavor. Mostly what I taste is the sauce and the crust. Um, it's okay. I think, like I said, it's gonna be better in the oven. Texture wise, it's gonna be, um, ooh, that piece was hot. Um, it's going to be a better texture from the oven. It's going to get a little crisper on the top. 
Um, but it's not going to change the flavor any, I don't think. And the flavor for me, it's okay. It's not like the best pizza ever, but it's not bad either. Um, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. I don't think it's bad. It's definitely worth trying out one if you have them in your area. You want to try it out, try it. You're safe to try it. Um, I don't think it would be necessarily one I would buy all the time. It's just not a flavor that I would really, really enjoy. I think it's okay. This reminds me more of a pizza you would get at school, like a school pizza, or a, um, um, I don't know, like a ballpark pizza. You know, something like that. Something you would get like out somewhere, um, like at a quick place, like car not Carnival Foods. Do they sell pizza at Carnival? Maybe. Um, it reminds me of those kind of places, um, the flavors do. So again, I'll give it a three out of five. I think it's, it's okay. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.